tensions are rising in the East Africa as anti-government protests gain momentum inspired by recent demonstrations in Kenya. In Nairobi, protesters geared up for a major march the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, while across the border in Uganda, youth are defying warnings from President Yoweri Museveni as they prepare to protest against corruption at Parliament. Here are the details. In Nairobi, preparations are underway for what's been called hashtag OccupyGKA. Following previous protests dubbed hashtag Occupy Parliament and Occupy CBD. Organized largely through social media, these demonstrations echo calls for accountability and transparency in government. However, the Kenyan authorities have cautioned demonstrators against breaching legal boundaries, citing the Kenya Civil Aviation Act, which prohibits trespassing in protected areas like airports. The service reiterates that protected areas are out of bounds. To unauthorized persons, as indicated in the Protected Areas Act, Cap 204, Laws of Kenya, for the avoidance of doubt. Protected areas listed under the Protected Areas Order, Legal Notice Number 9 of 2011, Second Schedule, includes, among others, the RPG plants, the bitumen plants, and the petroleum depots situated at the Ebakasi Aviation Depot, that is JKIA. Further, all unauthorized persons are hereby warned not to trespass protected areas. Meanwhile, in Uganda, in a televised address, President Museveni strongly cautioned youths against proceeding with their planned anti-corruption march to parliament. He warned that such actions could destabilize the country, urging them to reconsider their plans and that they are playing with fire. You are getting cheap food. Other people in the other parts of the world are starving. They are crying for hunger. <laughs> and you here, you want to disturb us. You are playing with the fire. Both countries are witnessing a surge in civic engagement with activists leveraging social media to mobilize and amplify their demands for governmental accountability. As tensions escalate, all eyes are on how this protest will unfold and whether they will spark meaningful change in East African politics. Irene Jegona, GPS TV.